Hello friends, uh, this is the fish report for Harvest Wild, uh, April of 2022. Uh, today's the 10th, yeah, the 10th, and just gonna go over like how the fishing's been and what I'm kind of forecasting for the next few weeks. Um, I have been on Shasta Lake and the Lower Sacramento River, as well as doing some turkey hunting. So that's really what I have the report for. Uh, the Lower Sacramento has been phenomenal. Uh, the mornings have been a little sporadic as far as what they're biting and bite day to day, but on average it's been very good. Uh, by 11 or 12, it's just full on just slaughter. The like fishing's been amazing. Just um, all the drop-offs, ledges, fast riffles, the fish are piled up. Uh, you can fish a dry dropper right now because the river's so low. Uh, this is probably going to be one of the most unique seasons on the river. Everybody's talking about drought and how terrible it is, but this could be an extremely unique season where you get to throw a dry dropper all summer and have fish eating on top and things like that that we normally don't get. Uh, maybe even more streamer fishing because the water's low. Those fish are pressed up into shallower water than normal. Um, so. There's a lot of really cool things that you can do on that river to explore. It's kind of getting like getting to fish a new fishery because typically we'll have more water this time of year. Uh, so if you want to come up and give it a try, we have availability uh, in May. Basically, we have a little bit in April. I think I've got like I personally have like three days open in April, and then um, I'm sure some of the boys have some you know, a little more availability that we can get you set up with. Um, let's see. The other place I've been fishing is Shasta Lake. Shasta Lake's been phenomenal. Uh, they're it's just lights out. This is the time of year uh, where you can just go out and catch fish to your heart's delight. Uh, this top water, a little bit of popper action in the mornings. Uh, it's probably going until 10 or 11, depending on the day. And then uh, the strike indicator bite, you know, fishing under the bobber has been great. And stripping little streamers has been very effective as well. I mean, this is this is that fun time of year. You can go throw all three techniques, catch fish, you know, um, go out and just try and catch one on each one if you want. You know, it's. Uh, it's very fun. The fish uh, are very healthy right now. The water's still cool, so they're good to eat. You can make some fish tacos, whatever. We try to keep kind of the smaller ones and not the females. Leave the females to reproduce and we'll keep some of the small males and uh, flame up so we have um, you know, dinner out of the deal. The other thing we've been doing is the turkeys. The turkeys have been great. Uh, it, I hope that you can hear me. It's windy now. It's been windy the last couple days. Luckily, I didn't have a turkey hunt or any, actually, you know, turkey hunt schedule had been impossible almost. Uh, but we've got, I guided two days turkey hunting last weekend and we killed three out of the four birds we could have killed. Um, it was awesome, they were gobblers. We, we called them in, uh, we had uh, two of the three we called right into our laps. The other one kind of flanked us and it, we killed at like 40 yards. But the other two were like, you know, around 20, 24 yards, like right pretty much almost the decoy. Um, got to watch the show on those two and let them kind of strut around out there and stuff and got to uh, like enjoy it a little bit the other one kind of figured something was wrong and then there was another there was a hen calling him so he kind of veered off and stick just kind of flanked us a little bit stayed at the edge of the decoy wouldn't quite commit in so um put the hammer down like 40 on him and the been shooting that federal tss um in the mixed seven and nines and that's just it's just so deadly with a decent choke tube it's incredible um so we've been doing all those things. I anticipate everything's gonna be fishing off the hook. I know Hat Creek's fishing really good. Upper Sack's fishing awesome. So I think you can pretty much point any direction to go have fun. Trinity, we were fishing that a couple weeks ago. I kind of tapered off of that. Uh, the flows I think bump tomorrow or the next day or something. So it's gonna be really big, um, too big to fish for a, for a little while. And then as it drops back in, that fly only water could be fishing good. Um, probably be a pretty decent season for that because there's so many late fish this year because the water was so low. Um, but yeah, we're just uh, out there. I mean, if you want to go explore, there's a million places to explore right now. Everything's fishing good. It's fishing like it's June, I would say, like basically at the flow, like maybe June, late June, uh, maybe even July flow in a lot of places. So um, I, I believe up on one of the little creeks I heard it may might have been even at August flow already up on one of the tributaries of the McLeod. So definitely this is the year to come now in the spring because I anticipate like later in the summer you're gonna be limited to like Lower Sac, Shasta Lake, um, maybe upper part of the Trinity. Uh, a lot of the uh, little mountain streams are just gonna be too warm to ethically fish. Uh, once that water gets over 62, hopefully, uh, you know, it's a good year to purchase a thermometer, go out, check the temp, you know, once we get a later in the season and make sure that water's cooler than 60 degrees, once it's above that, it's kind of like the hoot owl hours they do in like Montana and stuff, like just leave them alone once that water's over 62. Um, no need to mess with them. 
uh, it's a good time to go forage, go look for mushrooms in a meadow somewhere in a shady spot or something. Um, I'll leave the fish alone. But yeah, looking forward. Hopefully, you'll we'll see you out there on the water. Um, it's been you know it's been pretty busy out there, but ever since COVID, it's been that way. Everybody wants to get out, get out of town. So I'm sure uh, be out there. We'll see uh, a lot of the boats fishing the same runs on the sack. So it's kind of communal fishing right now. A whole bunch of communal spots too, because there's less less spots to fish with the flows. And Shasta, you get to spread out. You don't really have to see too many people out there. You can kind of get out where there's nobody. But um, yeah, we'll see. Thank you for your time. Have a good one.